Howdy, Brett Chonko here, videoing from Richmond, Virginia. Um, I've got a great tip for you if you're teaching virtually, if you're teaching over the computer. Um, if you want to be able to draw on your screen with any color um, to help annotate what you're talking about. Like for example, say we're talking about the geography of South America and we're talking about the mountains. Say you want to emphasize the fact that the mountains uh, run along the Pacific coast. And you want to be able to draw that on any screen, whether it's a, a browser window or whether it is a photograph that you've got, for example, of your travels, right? And you want to be able to highlight the fact that these are mountains, right? Or maybe you want to fill in some text um, for where this is. Uh, or maybe you want to reinforce that by drawing in something yourself. Maybe you're doing some stories and you want to be able to like, whatever, if you want to, you want to be able to draw like a little stream coming down the mountainside, whatever you want, and add some text. Um, this annotation tool has enabled me to, uh, to scaffold my input in a way that was impossible before that. So if that sounds good to you, then uh, watch this video and check it out. All right, I just found the sweetest stuff ever. It's called Zoomit. Um, you can download it for free. It's amazing. Okay, so what Zoomit allows you to do is it, it allows you to annotate on your screen and type on your screen um, on top of anything, whether it's a web browser or the homepage or some graphic that you have up or some freeze frame of a video or it doesn't matter what it is. Uh, it'll just show up on your screen. Like maybe I have a photo up here, um, here. I'll just like, even this page right here, it doesn't matter. You could do, you could do it on anything. So here's how it works. Um, you have to download the program and then when you open it, if you just, if you just double click it, uh, you have to set up some tools here the, the only thing that you, well, first of all, the only thing that you need to do is uh, click on the draw tab, and then uh, you need to establish a keyboard shortcut for how to enter the drawing mode. I just did control D um, for draw, and I don't think that control D is a significant uh, keyboard shortcut for me anyway. It's not like control C and control V for copy and paste, right? So anyway, that's mine. You can come up with whatever you want, but here's, here's what it allows you to do. Okay. So, uh, if I'm on any page, this page doesn't matter whatever you're on. If you press control D, I have this little blue dot show up and I can just write, like, I can be like, Oh, check this out y'all. Or I can use, I can use this to specify like what, whatever I want to talk about. It's amazing. So, I mean, this is a stupid page, but let's say, let's say I was in the middle of a discussion about our weekend, right? And I wanted to be able to talk, you know, like specify some things in particular. Right now, all I can do is highlight that. Well, that's not very effective, but all of a sudden I've got this new tool where I can draw that and be like, voy, ah, right? And then like I can say, yo voy a comer, right? And then I can maybe specify a uh, Chick-fil-A, whatever, you get the drift here. Um, and <laughs> I just found this out. You can also enter a typing mode. You see how it changed from a circle to uh, like the beginning of a cursor, I can click here and type a uh, chick full a. I can even press enter and continue to type uh, el sabado. Mm, won't let me do accent marks. El sabado a uh, uh, las tres. Por, okay, it'll just keep on going. <laughs> so I got a for la tarde, whatever. It's amazing.
Okay, so uh, there's a couple other little tools um, that I want to go through in a little bit more detail uh, that, that I didn't cover in the last video. Right, so um, you access the instructions by going into your My Computer and then just double clicking on the program. And the Draw tab has all of the instructions, so you got to memorize these. Um, but I'll go through them a little bit and I'll also show you something that is amazing um, that I didn't cover in the first video. If you want a blank space, like for example, say we were talking about our weekends and um, whatever, I said something like Voya uh, que darme en casa. Ooh, you know what? But that's too big. Um, one thing you can do is you can press the control button, the left control button, and then zoom out with your mouse wheel, and it gets smaller or bigger. Like I can get great big. That's about as big as it'll get. And I can make it small. So I can get Kate Arme and Casa, and I can get a small marker there. Um, but maybe I wanted to reinforce the word Casa, right? And like, it's just too busy. I can press the W button, and the whole screen whites out. And it gives me a blank page. And then I can go like, I can press the T button to enter the typing mode. And then I, maybe I make it bigger. Maybe I make it real big. And say, Casa. Whatever, this is really simplified version. When I'm done typing, I can press the left uh, mouse button and it returns me to my drawing mode and then I can draw uh, a house, whatever. You know what I mean? Then I'd be like, casa, esta es una casa. <laughs> okay, uh, a couple of little tricks. If you press uh, control, and then click, you can draw a rectangle. And if you press shift and then draw a line, that line is a straight line. So I could draw a much better house. <laughs> um, pretty quickly. Now, it's not like a perfectly rectified line, all right? But like, uh, it's pretty good. And that it's pretty, it's straight at least. You, know, you can move it around to adjust it. So those are a couple little tools here. I'm thinking like maybe, I don't know, maybe you were taught, you had some visual and you wanted to like speci specifically highlight something in a little bit of a neater way. Well, you could like put a box around it, right? Right, and then you could be like, let's enter the typing mode. Oh, let's make that a little bit smaller. Sombreros, whatever. Okay, but uh, you can enter that white mode and you can also press K to enter an all black mode in case you wanted to do that and then draw. Um, you can change the color by ch changing different uh, you can press different keys. The instructions go over it all. So on the draw mode, here are the, 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 the keyboard shortcuts. R for red, G for green, B for blue, O for orange, Y for yellow, P for pink. All right, and then you can also zoom in. So let me get out of that page. It doesn't work while I'm in that page. Let's say I wanted to zoom in on something. Let me see if I can find like a pretty detailed image. Let's say I wanted to talk about just mountains from, from this image. I wonder if I have something better. Okay, let's say I wanted to just talk about church. Well, I can enter this mode and then I can, I can zoom in by using the wheel on my mouse or zoom out a little bit more and I can, you know, talk about how this is a church. Uh, and then you can zoom back out. And then you can press Control-C to copy, 
uh, or Control S to, to save, and it saves it in your documents. There you go. Um, I think that offers a little bit more detail. I hope that that helps. Right, so um, I wanted to show just a little bit uh, from class to give you an example of uh, how I use that drawing tool. Uh, this lesson is a Spanish 3 lesson uh, about Peru. It's about the quipu phenomena, which was like an accounting system um, around a necklace with knots. Um, and the knots stood for different amounts of numbers. Uh, this is all from the Inca Empire. So it's a pretty interesting lesson, and you can see pretty well how I'm using the drawing tool to help um, scaffold and support my my uh, my input with my students. Ejemplo, um, primero vamos con esta cuerda aquí, C. Okay. Uh, I, there are diferentes uh, niveles. Este nivel es para uno a nueve. Okay. Este nivel es para contar, contar por diez. Hey, lo siento. Uh, I lost my lines. Sorry. Okay. Esta parte es para contar por uno. Uno a nueve. Este es para contar por diez. Este es para contar por Cientos. Y este, esta parte es para contar, count, por miles. Ok, mira, en texto, este es miles. Este es cientos. Uh -huh. Este es diez. Y este es individual. Ok, so, uh, ¿cuánto es? Este es uno. Uno. Uh, para letra C es uno. Ok, este es diez, veinte, treinta, cuarenta, cincuenta, sesenta. Este es 60. Ok. Y este es 100, 200. Ok. Este es, uh, no hay nada. No hay nada. Entonces, no hay. Ok, so el total. El total es 200. 61. 261. Right, so there you have it. That's how you use, you use Zoom It, um, a great tool for annotating on your screen um, in a way that your students can see via the, the screen share on Zoom or on Google Meet or whatever, whatever conferencing um, program you're using. It's an awesome way to um, to help scaffold your input in, in whatever target language you're speaking in. Uh, it's great to use over top of images, uh, over top of videos that are paused on maps, on any type of graphic organizer. It's just wonderful. Um, so anyway, hopefully you find that useful.